This is your daily market review for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at XP Realty, aka The Trade Ninja, and this is your daily market review for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Sorry I wasn't around too much Monday or today. Went to Vegas to watch NC State shoot incredibly cold and lose in the semifinal game. I think if they would have made better than 30% shooting, they probably could have won that game. But would have probably lost to UConn in the final. That's neither here nor there. If you're new to the channel, check out the Discord room in the description below. Going into the CPI data tomorrow. FOMC minutes, treasury budget, and then PPI on Thursday. I'm expecting inflation to come in higher. How does that react or how does that affect the market? We shall see. We know going into what seems like kind of a slower time. I mean, I have a lot of people who are asking me, like, what do you think the next move is going to be? I mean, I personally think it's going to be heading lower, but does that mean it has to go down in, you know, this moment today? No. Let's look at the trends. Let's go through things and let's just see what it looks like. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Check out the link to the Discord room. If you want to chat, use the Calmly link. If I, uh, you know, I, if I can't make it, I'll reschedule with you. I know some people have been trying and I apologize. I was out of town. I forgot to update it. So if you're new to the channel, check out the website as well, tradingagent.com. Get your Marcus account 5.5. Please, I'm telling you, somebody, if you're paying attention, interactive brokers, do not stay with Schwab. I'm telling you, they're going to be a problem. Also get your recommended reading list. Also follow like subscribe hit the notification bell i really appreciate it tell me all the educational videos are on my website or on youtube also follow on twitter post and trades all the stuff so natural gas sorry actually let's go boot cme fed tools we know the may meeting coming up nothing expected june is where it all starts this is hovering between 50 and 60 percent it's just worth watching bitcoin said it many times Seems to be consolidating after a big up move. Not surprised. Tries to pop out. Fails again at 71,000 and change. Holding support here ne near term. I would not be surprised if it chops around for a while. Good old oil. Chopping up here after a nice move, right? It's gone from like 70 up to 87. Keeping on it. Natty gas. Again, I like the limited downside here. Doesn't mean it can't. it's going to rocket ship higher. I just like that there's not much downside at $1.50 per cubic foot or whatever it is. I can't remember. What's why can't you just say it correctly? I think that's what it is. Cubic foot, square foot, whatever. Oh, you know how I'm always like, what's EQT doing? Here you go. They're transforming a question of Equitrans midstream, right? So I keep messing that one up and forgetting like, who are they doing? Well, that's the deal. And again, I like natural gas exporting in time, in time. All right, the dollar we've talked about been holding up, had a nice run. Holding the 120 day cross, worth watching. TLT banging along that's 91 level. Again, I mean, near term, I mean, inflation, whatever you want to talk about, we'll see with CPI. Because again, CPI is going to be rear looking. Do bonds hold? They have to hold that area. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean bullish or bearish. Like if the bonds start going nuts, volatility either way is not going to help. The VIX, four day range around 16, chopping around. I'd be watching the 200 day tomorrow. Any pop, slop, chop, whatever. Vixen chopping around. Big hammer. Vivix. I mean, I thought this would probably pull back bigger, but oh, seems to be holding the mid 80s. All right. Spy, end of the day, squeeze, right? People who had, you know, again, if you had bullish positions, you took some profit, scared. If you were short, you covered. And that's where you end up basically where you open. Holding on to the 20 day for dear life. QQQ, same kind of thing, right? Come on, load her up. Another hammer. We'll see tomorrow. Again, you got your levels. I mean, at this point, you're making lower lows and lower highs, right? Maybe not necessarily today or today, but you've, you're coming off of it, right? We'll see. Because this is lower high, you should expect lower lows. Especially the IWM lagging. D has been chopping around. Chop, chop, chopping around. Man, took out the lows, bounced back. Okay, we'll see. Gold holding up pretty damn well. Got to give it credit where credit's due. However, today, a little doji, big volume. Keep an eye on it. Silver, silver bells. Another big doji. Broke out. 
it is over the 25 level, which we talked about, really important. Next stop, maybe 27s. Again, I have people like, oh, you're not trading. I'm like, I've got physical. Let's get physical, physical. Do I need to trade the paper? Um, this is where I struggle with it, near term. Again, I'd rather wait for the feds to pivot in full blast because I've seen miners. And again, I was talking about the dust today. I, mean, I like the dust in the sevens. I mean, this is a huge move. Yes, we know gold's making new highs, but again, if the, they throw the baby out with the bathwater, which they typically do with miners, because again, they're part of the markets themselves. I mean, it, it, again, if you want to short miners, it's a very easy trade with a tight stop. Just tight stops. I mean, it's almost like, it'd be like, again, I like to equate it to, it's like, you're willing to risk X amount to lose a small amount. Okay. The risk rewards in your favor, especially like getting choppy up at the highs, AG. I mean, look at this like wick on this sucker. <clears throat> Double wicks long. Again, it doesn't mean it has to drop right away, but the risk reward makes sense. Newmont, again, breaking out. Is it a fake out? Pass. Now I'm saying, not saying like short miners forever. That gets interesting. Look at that. Big ass volume coming off the lows. Big ass volume. Man. Okay. See if these continue. I mean, again, longer term, probably you could disappear. You'll be fine. Near term, Again, here, I'll just go back just for sheets and giggles. Let me just show you again the, the monthly. Like in 2008, 2009, <clears throat> here it is. You pop and then you chopped and then you went. Here is obviously COVID. Again, those were when VIX spiked big. We haven't seen a big VIX spike, so it's really hard to know. Ten cuidado, that's all I can say. Uh, Sol, or sorry, not Sol. Tech. Taiwan semi, nice like, look at this wick today. Okay, chopping out, filling the gap, keeping on this level, right? Micron, been on fire. Macron, popping, holding the eight and 10 day, chopping around. Looks a little, little chop, tired at worst. AM Dizzle, this has gone nowhere fast, holding the one like mid 160s. NVIDIA, Intel's coming out with a new chip. It's gonna compete. We've always talked about this. There's no sustainable advantage in tech. Someone's always gonna come after your milk and cookies. We talked about the filling a gap down there so far. So good. It looks like it. SMCI talked about having to hold the thousand level. No, and then you're coming back to the 850s intellectual property. I mean, it's interesting. Bad news hits the trend line announces today. They got a chip that competes with Nvidia. We'll see what happens. Maybe you know, that might have more upside than Nvidia at this point. Uh, SMH again, overall chopping, holding the 20 day Adobe's chop, chop, fizz, fizz, holding at the lows. Worth an eye on it. Apple sauce. Man, this thing, was, I thought it was about to get nuked today. But you know what? It's not the CPI day. So, of course, you potentially could chop around. Good old Amazonian holding the channel highs. Yeah, it's tough to be short. I don't know. I mean, that's one you just don't want to step in front of at this point. Uh, metas. I mean, you've got a four, like a multi-day range up here. Again, I think the easiest time to short will be the 480s if it fails. CRM chopping right at the 20-day. I want you to say Guggenheim, nice. Like again, they at least squeeze into the close up to new highs. Okay. I mean, this is the thing. If you short or it's like buying GDX, you get kicked out, you get kicked out. I mean, it's part of trading. If you're looking to be perfect at all swing trading, you never will. Microsoft chopping around. NDAQ, man, this was interesting. Watching this, I'm like, okay, Doji gap up. Retest. We talk about retests all the time. MicroStrategy. We've been pretty much killing this thing. So once you fail here, you could come back down. That's the channel. Channel hit again. I mean, all these little channels, they're from the past. So far, so good. Again, I personally think, I mean, it, it, it makes sense that if there's going to pull back 1200 range, we'll get touched. Netflix and chill, chopping at the highs, not much to say. Roblox, chop, chop at the highs. Interesting. Pause. Look at that, breaking the channel. Trend rally, worth, worth watching. Pan W again, put out an alert on this. I like this one. We said, if you're using today's action, if this is a little pro gap, got to get over the 20 day. Again, I didn't like all the calls that were being sold out in the future. Because <sighs> if someone said they're bought, but I'm like, man, is Pelosi, no Pelosi knows. We know cybersecurity issues are coming. Trade it. Define your risk. I like it long term. Again, if Pelosi likes it, we like it. She knows it's something. Uh, Tesla, Tesla, holding the channel lows. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck. Your guess is good as mine. Airbnb, chopping around under the 20 day. Costco seems to be holding this like, I don't know, 700 area. 
20 day curling down. Starbucks has been crap. Breaking. Breaking the channel. A little failure to launch. Uh, yep, FedEx chopping around after a big gap up from earnings. Not much follow through, honestly. Caterpillar, this one's been on fire. Holding up pretty well. Again, I don't know if I would step in front of that. New core, man, this thing's looking good. But now you're consolidating for a couple days. Keep an eye on it. X, I mean, we talked about this. is not getting bought by Nippon. Do not short it, though, once it dropped. Uh, Valet got a little pop yesterday off the lows. Again, Brazil. No wonder the stock's been crap. I mean, supposedly Brazil's going full communist. That can't be good for Valet. Arrow, Copper, Copper, Copper John. All right, here you go. Fill in the gap. Hmm. Really like to get it over 22 if you're really bullish. CCJ gets the uh, Goldman upgrade last week. Comes into a lower high potentially. Again, chopping's okay. Just needs to hold up. And then it can go higher. CF. Again, we like food, ag, all that stuff. These names have been in big chop cycles. I just don't really trust them near term. Meaning that, yeah, either way could happen, but they're chopping, slopping. I'll wait for the puke. Uh, AA Aaron. We like this name. Longer term, again, you got to love aluminum. It goes, I mean, it's a great metal for all sorts of things. Again, does not conduct heat. That's crucial. Watching this 37 area. The XL heifer. XL heifer. Watching the 20 day, just trying to hold on. Again, I think this is one of the easiest shorts out there with the defined risk. It's it's simple. JP Mo gets up into the like new high 200 area. Watching the 20 day. Morgan Stanley. Stanley Morgan. Chopping up against Rachel and Heiser. When you zoom out, it's just it's not really that strong. Bank of America. Take your money. Chopping around near the old highs. Goldman Snacks. Breaks out over the levels. And now it's just kind of chopping around. This is one. I mean, again, you got financials and earnings this week. So keep that in mind. Going into Friday. Friday, you have BlackRock, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, State Street. That's worth it. Worth an iron. Carrie, we talked about this being a dog chopping under the 50 level. There's not much to say there. Good old solar pyrotechnics. I don't know. I'm just trying to create a name. We talked about these are dead. Letting them come down here. Again, solar subsidies. I don't believe they will be back in fashion for a while until governments have to deal with crap. I think these names could go a lot lower, but they are chopping after they've been absolutely shredded. Shredded cheese. Watching the 100 and 200 days on this one. Pretty interesting. First solar. We love, we talk about how it loves to chop around. Okay. Well, if you took the short, you got to stop out now. Near term, I mean, probably this 180s. Again, if you want to short it, again, I think solar is just one of those ones. I would just be 10 cuidado. Be slow. HYG, again, I think you have to be high to your mind to buy corporate debt. It is holding the 76 plus area for now. Stay. I don't know. Stay careful. Oil, we talked about, been bullish. It's got to be killing the feds. Back up near highs from the past. UNG, we, I don't really like this product, but it makes sense down here with tight stops. This is the favorite trade of mine, shorting the KLD. This one makes sense. Any massive pop, take it. Any big drop, take profits, trade around it. Because this thing will decay. XOP, we've talked about holding up pretty damn well, but it's coming up into the next resistance back. Fills the gap. I mean, there's, hold on, let me make sure we, do. we haven't filled the gap exactly, but I mean, we're not far. Close enough for government worth to where you should keep an eye on it. ExxonMobil looks like it's going to break out. We'll see. These are old highs, references. Keep an eye on it. CVE, we talked about this one getting into this 21 range. If this thing breaks out, where can it go? Back to 25. I mean, this thing has a, a long history of consolidation. Like, you got it. Like, if you're bullish on this thing, this big ass consolidation pattern is amazing because if we, when it does break out, I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't go to 40 if it's really strong. No, no doubt that's possible. Valero, some of the gasoline names are looking a little tired. They've been on fire, which to me is got to be killing the feds. NPC had the same thing, kind of a puke day. Keep an eye on these because this could be tops. Occidental, we talked about it needs to get over this like mid, I mean, it's been trading in this big range. Chopping up here, curious. EQT again, purchasing. I like this name long term. If they, they do, again, I love when you vertically integrate in the space and you're small. But again, keep an eye on it. Flex LNG, because I think we'll be natural gas exporters, right? Holding down at the lows. 
All right. If you have any questions, again, please reach out. Always here to help. Appreciate the love, support, generous donations. You guys are amazing. If you have any questions about real estate, buying, selling, investing, please hit me up. Do not hesitate to reach out. Let me know how I can help you find a great, amazing agent anywhere in this country. Because again, do not work with your Uncle Bobby, your Aunt Sally. They don't work with someone who's a pro. You don't go, if you get it, if you have medical issues, need an attorney, don't go cheap on this. Go and you get what you pay for. It not, doesn't have to be expensive, but don't try to skim and save small amounts. Again, it's like picking up pennies in front of a bulldozer. Just get out of the way. Let someone do the job for you and make it right and get the max amount of money out of your biggest investment, your property. So let me know how I can help. Talk to you soon.